Andrea. Behind me is the first ever two bedroom class A gas motorhome. And it, they call it the kid's cave. I think it'd be perfect for an office. Look at this. I have never in my life seen anything like this before in a motorhome. Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video today. I am super excited. We are taking a look at a motorhome that is a complete game changer. I've never seen anything like it. They're marketing this as a two bedroom kid's cave, but I think it would be even better as a private office. This is the 2024 Holiday Rambler Invicta. The model is called 36Y. We are gonna be taking a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Invicta and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video today. I am super excited. Guys, this is a complete game changer. Andrea, we've had some game changers this week. But this one is a complete game changer when it comes to the Class A gas motorhome. Can't wait to show everybody. But first, let's hi say everyone. hi to Andrea. Andrea, how's it going? It's going good. Hey, guys, we're in Wixom. We're super excited to be here. Uh, Saturday, July 29th, we will be having a uh, meet and greet here at the Wixom store. Yes. So come by and see us. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, I believe we're going to have food and some other things going on. Yeah, we don't know exactly what's, <laughs> well, well, we don't know. But what I do know is we're going to have a great time, great prices, and if you're looking to buy, you must come. Even if you're not looking to buy, come on down, say hi. We'd love to meet each and every one of you guys. Andrea, let's begin. Model is Holiday Rambler Invicta 36Y. The actual tip tip length of this motorhome is 38 feet 8 inches. This is the Holiday Rambler Invicta. This is the sister product to the Fleetwood Fortis, okay? Literally, when it comes to Holiday Rambler, Fleetwood, most of the time, like when it comes to the Bounder Vacationer, they're 95% the same, but there is some differences. When it comes to Invicta Fortis, they are the exact same, same headlight design and everything. The only thing that changes is the badging up here. I love the way this looks. I love the mean, aggressive look. Very awesome front. Nice big windshield, and look at this new technology here, Andrea. Very, very nice. I, I honestly don't know if that is mobile eye collision mitigation. I don't know what it is, but we will talk about more of the features and functionalities on the inside. Coming on down, look at these mean aggressive headlights. I love that. It is the 2024, so you know it has a 7.3 liter V8. It is the Godzilla engine. And then look at these tires, they're the Michelins. I love those. 255-80R 22.5 with very shiny Alcoa rims. And look at these chrome mirrors on both sides with cameras integrated in the mirrors. Coming on back, we do have a very nice power awning with LED lights. This motorhome has been optioned with the full body paint. You can get partial body paint, but I haven't seen very many partial body paint ones. I believe we're ordering most of them with full body paint. You know why, Andrea? Because it looks awesome. Yes, it does. Yes, ma'am. Frameless windows throughout this motorhome. We do have a little bit of storage here, which I wouldn't really use for storage. There's your uh, battery disconnect switches and inverters. Here's where I would use the storage. Check that out. Nice I love that. Through. Yes, ma'am. Right here. We have a bit more storage. Oh man, it's getting hot here in Wixom, Andrea. I know. It's like it's 80 degrees. I know. It's. We're really breaking a sweat here. Right here, Sansui TV, power and USB on the outside with speakers. I'm loving that. That's a big TV, isn't it? Yes, it is. More storage right here. All right. Right here is going to be our potable water fill. Potable. Potable. Yes, ma'am. Here we got more storage with that ladder that I absolutely love. Propane quick connect, Andrea, and then check this out. A big old motorhome like this. Oh no, Andrea, this is locked and I can't get it. So let's kick it over to the Fleetwood Fortis to show the kitchen. So this is what the outside kitchen actually looks like. You have nice cabinetry here, storage there, 
nice tabletop here. Very nice. A little outdoor um, sink hookup. I wouldn't say a sink, but like a sprayer. Suburban cooktop here and a little refrigerator right there. Great, and we're back. Very nice. Andrea, that's why I love selling Invicta and Fortis because we get double of the inventory. Right here, Andre, we do have a 5,000 pound hitch. Motorhome Kento, 5,000 pounds. Very nice fiberglass rear cap. It looks fantastic. Backup camera right there and a ladder to get up on the one piece TPO roof. Uh, we're not going to climb up it because we hate climbing up these ladders. There's also solar on the roof and two AC units. Finishing up with the driver's side, Andrea. Right here's our city water connection. Okay, black tank flush. Here's our generator, 5500 Onan. Okay. Right here, nice big 50 amp power cord with storage. Very nice. Over here we do have fuel fill up right there. More storage. Very nice. Coming on down. More storage. Here's the place to dump our black and gray tanks. Okay. Outdoor shower there. Suburban instant hot tankless water heater. And I love how they painted all of that. More storage there. All right, let's see what's this one. Propane. And then Miss Jennifer, bing. Please put all the specifications about this motorhome right there on the screen so everybody can see who's watching on television. Well, Andrea, the outside of this Invicta looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. Okay, here we go. Cargo carrying capacity, man, 6,007 pounds. Wow. That's a lot. All right, here we are. And we've got the full wall slide in, but as you can see, it's a really good walkway. Yes. I'm not having any problems getting through. Here is the full bathroom and the master bedroom, which you can use with the slide in. All right, Andrea. Oh my goodness. While we get the slide outs out. <laughs> I see yeah. some interesting things going on in here. Yes, ma'am, while we get the slide outs out, Let's give a huge shout out to the sponsor of this episode. This video is sponsored by 3-in-1 and their collection of easy to use products perfect for maintaining your RV. Today, we are taking a look at the rubber seal conditioner from 3-in-1. What it does is reduces friction and wear, prevents cracking and fading, and extends the seal's life. As you guys know, the seals right here are the most vulnerable. So you shake it up, you wanna clean it with a rag just like Will did, and then you wanna take it, Just like that. After you spray, you're gonna to wanna to wipe it to spread it evenly, just like that. And then make sure to get any additional overspray off the sides. Thank you so much to 3-in-1 for sponsoring today's video. Make sure you get everything you need to maintain your RV by clicking our link down below. Let's continue the video. Andrea, look at this motorhome. Absolutely big, bright, and beautiful. I love what Fleetwood does with all their interiors. We're getting started right up here, Andrea. Check this out. Okay, first, let me cut, cut the AC down a little bit so we can hear. 7.3 liter V8, I'm loving this. Right here's our auto leveling, our cup holders here. We got our cameras there. And then right here is a place for you to store your phone with a wireless phone charger. Look at the new digital dash right here. I mean, those are analog, but this is digital. Um, you got your fuel economy and everything. You can see your gauges all on the screen. That's new for 2024. I don't know if that's a Fleetwood thing or if it's uh, all the F53 things. We'll find out later when we review more units. And then look at that. Again, I'm gonna call that the Mobileye Collision Mitigation. I don't know if that's the exact, exact branding on it because it doesn't state it there, but it's super duper nice. Nice steering wheel. And here we got your uh, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, everything that you want right there. Andrea, how does it feel? It's very comfortable. I'm not surprised. They always are. Um, both these seats do swivel. 
and there would be a pedestal table that would go there. I also have a really nice little workstation here. Yes. And yeah, I got a nice cup holder, um, cubbies up there. Let's see, I believe we have storage above. Very nice. And then uh, cup holders there and USBs there. Very nice. Let's get this AC blasted. Even though we don't need the AC on, it is nice to have some uh, nice airflow. Right here, Andre, is the hide aloft bunk over the cab. It holds 600 pounds. This comes all the way down, and it's a thin mattress. There's no storage there. But again, you know who this is good for, Andrea? The non-paying customers. The non-paying customers. And there then, is a ladder that would go right there, and I can see speakers right here. Very nice. A nice little surround sound. And then check out this awesome, beautiful cabinetry here. Very nice. Andrea Fleetwood does it again. Holiday Rambler does it again. Rev Group does it again. Every time we're in one of these units, they're absolutely beautiful. And then right here, let's check out these valances. I don't think we've seen these on the show yet. Andrea? Approved! Bing! They do it again, Mindy! Yeah, they're really cute. Look at them. They're like little roses or something. Yes. Right here, we do have very nice theater seats. Cup holders right here and everything. Right there, we got storage right underneath their seatbelts in here, which is very nice in Andrea. This is a plush, comfortable theater seat. Not only that, you are gonna have these privacy blinds right here, which is the MCD ones. There is no daytime blinds in here. And then Andrea, doesn't this floor plan look familiar? It does. This is the Flare 29M with an additional room on the rear. That's how they're able to do that. So just like the Flare 29M, you got the TV right here and it does swivel out some so you have a better viewing angle if you're sitting here in the theater seats and something i really love on your campsite look at this huge window i absolutely love that that is big nice awesome and then here we're sitting on the j lounge dinette i like this being a little bit of a bigger guy you know andre can sit there i can sit here i can move this around like this you know what i'm saying it's easy for me to get in and out I don't have per se like a U-shaped dinette or anything that's awfully tight. This is very cool. It's a very nice feature. And it's one of those things I'm starting, I, I've been calling it for years about the industry going away from dinettes. But a dinette like this is a lot better than a traditional dinette because it doesn't take up as much space. Andre, you ready to show us the kitchen? This, oh, did you say it dropped down to make a bed? I did not. Oh, okay. It does drop down to make a bed. Awesome. And is there storage? I think there's a little cubby or, yeah, it looked like they got USBs and some cables here. And, yeah. Very nice. There's the lip there. Okay. All right, Andrea, show us this awesome kitchen. All right. We got this pretty frosted cabinetry. Very nice with an adjustable shelf. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Solid surface countertop, very pretty. I like the backsplash. Beautiful. Cubes. And then we've got, what, three drawers? Oh, these are hard to open. Oh yeah, get Two, your workout in. Three. Very nice. All right, we got a farmhouse sink here with the extension. And then underneath, we're gonna have some storage. Let's see, for a trash can. Okay. Very nice. And then above, we've got, wow, a convection microwave. Very nice. Three burner propane cooktop, and that is Dometic. Okay. They gave you an oven. And let's see, there's a drawer down here. Nice. Uh, we've got the Insignia compressor refrigerator. Okay, that's not a bad size. And I've then, seen bigger, but I've seen smaller. Right. And then behind me, we've got, I believe this is the pantry. Okay. It has adjustable shelves. That's just your fuses and stuff. Yeah. I'm glad they gave you something at least. Right. Okay. Well, Andre, you know what time it is? It's now time, time for, for the, the MSRP. MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. Okay, and Andre, believe it or not, I don't have the MSRP for this one. I have the MSRP for stock number 285289, which is a 2024 Fortis 36Y out of our Huntley store. That MSRP is 
$840, Andrea. MSRP. But you know what? We're family. And does family pay MSRP? No way. Not in New York. Not in Wixom, Michigan. Not nowhere. 31% off to a sale price of $177,999. And again, that is for that one in Huntley, Illinois. This one might be more expensive. It might be less expensive. I don't know. Normally, they're always going to be around the same ballpark. But Andrea, I don't care which ballpark you go to. You going to Yankee Stadium or you going to Fenway? We will always get people at the best price in America. All you got to do is go to generalrv.com slash mattscash. We'll link it down in the YouTube description below. You can get there from mattsrvreviews.com or call 844-969-4033. Reach out to me, folks. And a member of our team will get back to you and they will get you the absolute best price in America or come to our Wixom meet and greet. And if you go to any general RV, print out that mass cash and give it to any salesperson and that's going to help you get the best price in America. Andrea, let's check out this bathroom. Look at this. Okay, kind of a big step up right there. Very, very nice. Good size shower, definitely not the biggest, but definitely not the smallest. This is this is the smallest acceptable shower size that I'd be happy with. But you know what, it gets the job done. We got a glass door and everything. And then what's behind you there? We've got some storage with an adjustable shelf yes, there. Yes ma'am. Over here as well. Yep. And then under here, underneath the sink, we have some storage. Yes, and then right over here, we have a porcelain toilet. Yes. Are you yep. going to go in there first? Yep. Let All me right. uh, see this to see what's going on here. Ports and toilet. Andrea, I got plenty of space, but this is not a prime pooping position. Womp, 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 womp. So close. Unfortunately, I'm just a little bit elevated. And Andrea, oh, I didn't even see this here. Liquefied, which is our brand of black tank toilet treatment. Guys, go to primepoopposition.com or eBay to pick up a bottle. I'll link the proper eBay listing down below, but you can get it on Amazon as well. And Andre, guess what today is? What's today? Today is Tuesday, and that means Amazon just went to Century Chemical and picked up our new easy to drop in tabs, Andrea. Finally, guys, here. it might not be for sale today, but it will be for sale this week. Again, go to primepoopposition.com and you can only get our tabs on Amazon. We have a 20 pack and a 60 pack. Guys, thank you to everybody for all the support. Andre, we're doing big things in the black tank industry. We are. We know a thing or two about it, don't we? <laughs> you stole it out of my mouth. Or I, you know a thing or two about I, it. I know a thing or two about a stinky black tank, Andrea. What the heck's going on with this pineapple party? Well, hold up. Let me just get this entrance in here. This is a really good entrance into the master bedroom. I do see a nice pocket door right there. Pineapple yes, pillows? Is this a queen size bed? It's a queen. It is. But you got pineapple pillows. Yeah, it, it's red. Red for general. Yeah. What's the pineapples for? I have no idea what the pineapples are for. Neither do I. Right here, we do have windows on both sides. Nice headboard and then storage above. I don't like that red. You know, with, with this color of white, I think the pillows would look better gray. blue. It's actually an off that, that, That's what I meant, like with gray, like blue and gray looks I think good. it's different. You know, they never go to red. They're always doing blue or gray. Andrea, would you pass the valances if they were red with pineapples on uh, them? Probably not. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, good thing it's just the pillows then. Right here, we do got storage here. We got the CPAP machine right yes. there. You can easily put that in there. There's a hole back there and an yes. electrical outlet. And there's little nightstands on each side. Okay. An electrical outlet. And there's no storage underneath the bed. And then over here, Andrea, huge wardrobe. Huge wardrobe. Oh, snap. Snap, crackle, and pop. I like the adjustable shelves in there. Yes, ma'am. TV with storage behind there. How you doing? And wow. Look at that. Ten little drawers. That's awesome. I like how much space is in here around the bed. Okay, now let's see what's going on back here. Art Deco! Uh, I don't know. I don't think so. All right, Andrea. Look at this pocket door. That's very cute. Yes. 
And behind me, Andre, behind the pocket door, is something that's super exciting that has never been done in the RV industry. This is called the Kids Cave from Fleetwood. Right here, we do have an awesome bunk over the cab, right, or bunk right here. You got a little ladder that moves. There's storage. The storage right there. And then, Andrea, look at this. A sofa back here that jackknifes down to make a bed. Windows all around. I hate that they call this a kid's cave because so many people are not going to be interested in it. Guys, this would be a perfect office space. Right here, we have some storage right let me there. Back up. Right, let me see yes, this ma angle. Adjustable shelf in there. And then, as you can see, there's a TV. Yep. Little wardrobe. wardrobe. Look at all these drawers. Tons of drawers. Yes. Dude, think about regular bunkhouse motorhomes. That don't have any. They have nothing. They have no drawers. This, this is very cute. Not only that, there's a drawer underneath here. I think it'd be great if they made a desk option in here. For sure. That's yeah. what this needs to be, a private office. And Andrea, but wait, there's more. Oh, there's more. Move over. Let me see this. Combo <gasps> wow. washer and dryer prepped. Very 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 cool i love that feature man you get a lot on this the outside kitchen this extra room an all-in-one combo but wait what? there more? is more Let me see this. <laughs> Andrea. i don't believe it a half wow. bathroom in here as well now this is crazy on real seriously andrea Matt, i would put you back here what <laughs> right here is the mirrored medicine cabinet Nice little sink here and storage Very underneath nice. here. And Andre, this is what I'm talking about for innovation. We saw it last week with that awesome Wildwood view. We're seeing it today with this Fleetwood Fortis. Andrea, I think it's a Holiday Rambler. Holiday Rambler and Victor. <laughs> yes, I'm sorry. Same thing. This is what we are going to be seeing this year coming up. Manufacturers thinking outside of the box and coming up with awesome stuff. It's about time. Dang right it is. And Andre, you know what? This is a prime pooping position. Bing! Very nice. Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. Now, before everybody leaves, it's time we give people three things we love about the Fortis Invicta, three things we dislike about it. Andrea, what do we do first? Let's do three things we dislike about it first. Dang. Okay. Not much. Not much, exactly. First, for me on the outside, it's going to be the outside water hookups how they were all exposed to the elements. I didn't like that cheap looking outdoor shower. Even the dump station was just very cheap and chintzy compared to other brands that I've seen before. That is dislike number one. Andrea, what's dislike number two? Dislike number two for me is going to be the dinette. No! Well, I appreciate the J Lounge, whatever you call it. Yes. I just wish that it converted and had like that thing that comes out to make it a U shape. That's so funny, okay. Yeah, because it, you know, you would think this is a family motorhome, oh. so you would want the extra space. You know what? I disagreed with you till you said the F word. <laughs> family. I said no, the word. you're 100% right. Like, if you're mark. Dang. See, this is why I love the show because I didn't think of that. If you're marketing this as a kid's cave, you need to have a U shaped dinette. Yeah, that's definitely not as much space. Man, that's pretty. Andrea, give me that. Nice. That's number two. And then, Andrea, for me, number three is going to be the queen size bed. This bed is just way too small. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what they could have done. Um, they could have taken out that pantry space, made it a little bit smaller no or something. Way. I don't know. I just much rather have had a bigger bed. I would have the nightstands. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The nightstands or something. Something. Give me a bigger bed. Andrea, that's three things we don't like about it. Now it's time for three things we love about this motorhome. May I go first? Sure. One, two. No, you go first that way okay so what i'm gonna say is this is amazing for storage yeah I, I just i'm really surprised with it having that extra room all the storage in here and the exterior storage is really good and it's not taken away from your big windows exactly and it's not taken away from your beautiful cabinetry or the outside kitchen or valances or all of that all of this is number one andrea i can truthfully see myself buying one of these motorhomes if i had the money that is number one. Andrea, number two, is number two, three, four, five, and six is this kid's cave. I absolutely love it. I love the fact that it is a private bunk room. I love the fact that you're able to get a combo washer dryer. I love the fact that you have your own half bath. And I love the fact how it's just a private room 
It's not a closet. It's not a coffin sitting on the side of the motorhome. It's, it's an actual room where the kids can hang out and play. Even in the best bunkhouse motorhome, they're just closet space. You know what I'm saying? A kid, a kid doesn't hang out there. They just sleep there. Right. This, the kids can be hanging out. And it's super spacious. There's no slide outs back here. I love no. that. And to combo that, and you still get that outside kitchen. Fantastic. A++ Holiday Rambler, Fleetwood. I love you. Guys, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're interested in buying a motorhome like this or any motorhome, please go to generalrv.com slash Matt's I'll link it down in the YouTube description below. You guys can get there from mattsrvreviews.com or call 844-969-4033. Please reach out to us and a member of our team will get you guys the best price in America. Andrea? Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things you dislike. Yes! Rev Group, which is Holiday Rambler and Fleetwood, they want to hear your feedback on this, so don't forget to comment. Guys, don't forget about our meet and greet Saturday, July 29th here at the Wixom store. Yes! We'll be here and we're excited to meet everyone and it'll be a good time. Yes, ma'am. Thanks for watching, guys. We hope you're safe and well. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching and Andrea, we'll, we'll see, see you next time! time.